zero and enthusiasm if not channeled properly can lead to burnout can't it what are some great tips for staying on top form without killing yourself in the process great question yeah i think a big one this is kind of obvious but especially if you're given to productivity and this kind of stuff don't sacrifice sleep now i i'm an early riser but i'm only an early riser because i'm early to bed i go to bed really early i go to bed earlier than most people's grandparents. (laughs) Um, And the only reason I do that is because I'm not giving up sleep. You know, there's a lot of sometimes in talking about productivity, there's a lot of macho type thing. Like, you know, if you want to get more done, you're just going to have to sleep less. That is not a recipe for longevity. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes the pressure's on and you do need to give up some sleep. But as a strategy for life, that is going to kill you. That's going to lead to burnout. That's going to net you a much less productive life than if you paced yourself and really got the sleep you needed each night. Mm -hmm. Um, And the other thing, which I've sort of alluded to is don't cut off your fuel supply. And what I mean is as a Christian, I'm, I'm still doing this constantly have to reorient myself that being productive. Ultimately, if the ultimate objective is to glorify God with my life, then the, the prime directive, the prime thing I need to be working on, is making sure I'm walking closely with Christ. And it's so easy to let that slip, to to not be in prayer each day, to not be in the word. But if everything else doesn't get done today, but you walked with the Lord, that was a productive day. And so I think having that attitude that that is, if I have that baseline, that's going to be the fuel supply. That's going to be the thing that actually helps me lead a productive life in every other area. So you got to start there. And then the last thing I would add is, uh, this has worked really well for me as yeah, someone who maybe has often over indexed on trying to like cram every moment with stuff. I have what I call a minimum viable schedule. So it's just, I have a few things that are at the top of my list, a few activities. And one of them is, um, you know, spending time with the Lord in prayer and, and reading scripture each day. But if I do those things, I count it as a productive day. So even if everything else is not working and today just feels like a waste. If I did these this few things on my schedule, I'm going to count it as a good day and I'm not going to beat myself up about it. And so th- those are just a few things that I think help stave off the burnout while still getting a lot done.